We must rebuild the family. You're in Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C., on an annual basis, 56% of the children are born out of wedlock. Across our nation, the number is 35%. We can, you can raise a good child in a single parent family. There's no question about it. And we should celebrate it whenever it happens. But we know from all the statistics, and we know in our heart, the best place to raise a child is between a mom and a dad bonded together for life. That's the best place to raise a child. And we should pull for it. And we should say that that's what we want. And marriage. Marriage is the union of a man and a woman. That's what it is. That's what it has been for thousands of years. This vast social experiment that's going on right now to redefine marriage is one that the early results of this are catastrophic. These are not done in a cultural vacuum. When you redefine marriage, and some people say, well, it doesn't hurt my marriage, it hurts the overall system. And look at countries that have redefined marriage. They've seen their marriage rates plummet over a period of time. You've got now countries in Northern Europe where in, in counties, 80% of the firstborn children are born out of wedlock, 80%. You take that sacredness of it out. You drive the marriage rates down. And then you have fewer children born into that best of settings rather than more. Is that the direction we want to go? It is not the direction we want to go. And yet it's a tough fight. And none of us want to come across as mean-spirited or against anybody else. But this is for the future. This is for the culture. This is for the country. And we need to stand for marriage.